there, Summer Brainiacs. Welcome back. My name is Lauren. And my name is Mindy. And we're here for another week of Summer Brain Games. You know, summer is a really great time to explore the water. Everything mm -hmm. from water balloons to water melons, hanging out at the beach or the pool. I think our next experiment should take place in the water. And it's going to, because this week we're making submarines and boats. As always, you can find all of the instructions for how to do this at msichicago.org slash summerbrain. You know, since we're here at the U505 exhibit, let's start off with submarines. I like it. So for this one, you're gonna need to find a small container, something like a film canister, maybe a vitamin bottle. And the challenge is to see if you can get your submarine to do three things. You want it to float, you want it to sink, and then you want it to hover somewhere in the middle. That might be the hardest one. So to do that, you're gonna to have to change its density. Now the U505 does that with its ballast tanks. Mm -hmm. So it takes in more water when it wants to sink and lets that water out when it's going to float. Now your submarines are not gonna be complicated enough to have ballast tanks. So instead, what you'll do is just add or remove different objects, pennies, cotton balls, paper clips, weights, whatever you need to do to get your submarine to hit those three sweet spots. That's a floater. Yep, we got one covered. Got it. Yes. Uh, let's move on to tinfoil boats. Oh yeah. Uh, did you make one, Mindy? I did. I made a really awesome boat. Oh, Mindy, that's beautiful, but it doesn't fit in our bucket. So, uh, did you bring anything a little smaller? I did. Oh, good. I got, I got uh, the circle here. Uh huh. And the square. Oh, good. And an oval shape. That's nice. Uh, and a swan. Oh, now you're getting fancy. And a star. You had some time last night, didn't you? I did. Uh, so what you want to do is take all of these boats and test them to see which one can hold the most weight. But I have a tip for everybody at home. Those boats with the wider bottoms displace more water, which means they're more likely to hold more weight than a boat with the smaller bottom. So try putting pennies in here, see which one can hold the most weight, and we would love to see which one of yours is most successful in your creative design. So please post them on our Facebook page. And while you're online, make sure you go back to msichicago.org slash summerbrain so that you can enter the Summer Brain Games contest and maybe you and your family can win an awesome tech package. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Yeah. But you know what, I'm really hungry. Are you really? I'm super. Do hungry. you like s'mores? I love s'mores. That's really cool, because we're gonna make s'mores next week when we talk about solar ovens. I, I guess I'll wait till next week. Yeah, well maybe we'll get you some food in the meantime. Okay, great, thank you. <laughs> Until Bye. next week. Bye, Bye guys. guys.